Hey you wood turners out there. When it comes to wood turning we want to be safe and one of the things that makes it safe is uh, reducing the dust we breathe and part of that is collecting the dust as much dust as possible on site but the other part is sometimes using a respirator system such as this Trend AirShield Pro. Uh, this is a good solution there are some things that I don't like about it and it, most of it involves around the rechargeable battery but we've got a solution for that and I want to talk to you about that today. As you can see the charger plugs into the back of the uh, top of the helmet where the battery pack is located and the lights on when it's charging. Unfortunately the night light never goes off so it doesn't let you know when it's fully charged. The problem is this is there's no smart electronics in this thing so when it's fully charged it starts frying the battery and these batteries are fifty six to seventy dollars a piece so they're expensive if you uh, shorten the life of them prematurely so this shout, shout out goes to Greg Cattell uh, who posted a solution on Sawmill Creek a while back and that's the use of a inexpensive smart charger Here's the smart charger that he came up with. It's a Tenergy Universal Smart Charger, 2.4 to 7.2 uh, volts for uh, nic uh, nickel cadmium and uh, NIMH, whatever that, whatever that stands for. I'm not an electrical engineer, and I never would have come up with this solution on my own. Uh, but these are, this is a fairly inexpensive uh, charger. Uh, the battery pack on this thing is about 3.6 volts, so you can tell that's right in between this 2.4 and 7.2 volts that this is designed for. So you want to get this one, the red one. I'll put the name of it up on the screen so you can easily see it. Uh, this thing is about $17, $18 plus shipping. Uh, JGI, just Google it and you'll find it. Uh, a, an inexpensive uh, one for about $22, $23 uh, could be found on eBay, but there are other folks that, that sell this. Now, the solution is you have to make a little cradle. And here's the cradle. It's simply a, a square base of MDF or plywood. Uh, it's got, you just, let me show you what it looks like when you take the battery battery out. You lift this up, you remove the battery pack, and you just make this cradle where the battery will just fit in in place. I simply used a couple of pieces of uh, 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 copper uh, wire from a scrap of Romex. I drilled a hole through here and then another hole at an angle here so I could force this up through here, bend it, push it down into another hole. I put a little silver solder uh, on here to make sure I had a good connection on the copper but it's not necessarily necessary and you just uh, figure out exactly where those things have to be to match this before you drill your holes and you can tell if it works. Here's how it connects up. You simply, the red lead is on the right, that's the positive lead black lead is on the left. We're going to take this and plug it in. So you take the battery after connecting it, put it in the cradle, the light will come on and it'll stay on until the light till it's fully charged and then it'll go green and at that point in time it'll just continue to give it a trickle charge. Now you notice there's two settings there's a 0.9 amp and a 1.8 amp setting uh, because of the capacity of the battery you can use the 1.8 uh, and it'll charge a little bit a little bit faster. Ultimately what I'm going to do I could cut this off and fasten it onto here. What I'm planning on doing instead of leaving this one undamaged and I went into my dead uh, 
electrical device box and I happen to find that I have one from another uh, battery charger and I'm going to actually use this. In that case I'll just be able to plug it into the battery without having to remove the device from the, the machine. Okay wood turners I hope that was helpful for you. Now that my battery is fully charged I'm get back to work. If you enjoyed it please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to have more coming. Thank you for watching.